Today, Finch intervention is the talking campaign the for Baldur's Gate. Thank we are getting ready to seek help with the parasite you... oh. from Auntie Ethel in a nearby swamp. Here. Before we go visit Auntie Ethel, here's a major change we've made. I've mentioned our new blade, which is fine, but Karlak is also Come operating on, a bit go. differently from a traditional barbarian. I've given her Gith Yonki half plate, 15 AC, but also you're able to get a plus two from your dexterity. Now, if I take off her armor, she'll have her more traditional barbarian effect on armored defense. But have a look, it's only 14. 10 base armor that we all have, plus two from dexterity, plus two from constitution. So until she's got more constitution, we're gonna keep her in medium armor. It's only heavy armor that will inhibit her movement. Well, not her movement, but rather her rage effects. There we go, I got it now. So we've got our group together. I've also brought Gel, and Gel right. needs to eat magical items, so I brought some item over here. And later, we'll investigate that Necromancy of Thay book. We've got the Dark Amethyst, but I don't want to do it just yet. We'll wait to do that until later. Not only are we going to be able to investigate Auntie Ethel, but also Kaga as well. Yeah, she's got to be stopped. She's a little bit too strange for my liking. And we largely cleared out the Blinded Village. However, there appears to be two goblins. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll surprise them all for fun. Should it be Edrahil to strike first? No, it's got to be Karlak. She's very violent. I mean, incredibly violent. Here she goes now. There's one warrior and one archer. Look at that damage. 13 total. Not perfect, but very good. Edrahil is also very close by too, but let's see. That one archer, it's in the way. It doesn't really matter, does it? No, I don't think so. Let's strike over here and go after that sharp eye. He's joined in, he's striking now. 13 damage, the sharp eye is dead. Easy enough. We'll use a pommel strike to strike that warrior. Only two HP left. One damage, but that's okay. It's been dazed. It's also surprised. We'll end your turn. Shadowheart, go into strike. Please do a good job. A critical miss, somehow. <laughs> All right, back over to Gel. We'll use Bone Chill. Yeah, just to change it up a little bit. You've got the high ground. It's over. We killed them. I'll come back for that loot. Trust me, I'm a garbage diver. I will go in there and pick up all the loot. Oh boy. Okay, so we'll also use Tears Protection right now to get two more armor class. For Edrahill, of course. There it is. 20 AC. I love to see it. Now, Shadowheart, you could do the same thing too if you really wanted to. I like the idea. Yeah, give it over to Karlak. Now, everyone here is going to have a lot of armor class. 19 total. Oh, she's a singer as well. All right, so there's really only one pathway for me to take. We'll just go down. Yeah, as someone who lived near the bayou, near the swamps, I can tell you it's not an easy life. And so, for an auntie, an old lady like that, to live there alone, she's got to be hardy. Oh, hold on. There she is! Talking to two peasants, one's got a cleaver, the other a pitchfork. They probably don't want to be there. Let's have a conversation to find out what's going on, because I don't know. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. I mean, really, it's clear as day to see that these two are scared of her. They're very scared. And we're playing a vengeance paladin. We're not here to be a knight in shining armor. We're here to scrutinize. We're here to find out the truth. And so, I don't really trust her. I feel like Andrew Hill wouldn't either. How about all of you just calm down? What's going on here? Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough! Where is she? Yeah, that's a good question. Ethel... What did you do to their sister? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. 
Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has bring her. Now my major question is, did the hag give you that dye job? Because it's really bad. Anyway, will someone please tell me what's going on? It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was going to bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Yeah, that you do. So let me, I'll bring Marina home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. All right, good luck to you. But look at that swamp. That's a big one. Ancient trees, secrets all over, decay. It's got it all, really. I mean, again... We'll have to move in, not too far, to get over to Auntie Ethel. Maybe we'll do that first, then later investigate. No matter what we do here, we need to be careful. We're in a swamp. Nothing should be really friendly to us. If it is, we shouldn't trust it, not even a little bit. Now, what's going on? A loving note, really. Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. If we feel like it, we probably are. Look for anything out of the ordinary. We'll try it. A DC of 20. Whoa. We would need to roll incredibly high or a nat 20. A 14 won't do it. Yeah, we failed for sure. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay. Now, what's over here? A loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. I'm able to hear her voice in my head right now. So, she wants us to eat juicy apples? I think not. No, we are not doing that. Oh, I hate it here quite a bit. Best avoid that trap. A trap, really? It's a very hostile land. Wait, sheep here? In a swamp? Well, that feels really, really weird. Wait, hold on. There's blood. The brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Oh no, they're dead. There's Demir. Yeah, no kidding. Sheep close by and dead bodies. Here's Joel. A little letter too. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad, I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hack. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he would do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to ma'am, all right? She has enough on her plate. Irina. Oh, dear. All right. We now know things are really, really bad. It looks green. It looks nice, but it can't be, right? It's got to be grim here. The Riverside Tea House. We haven't been here for very long, but everything is so very strange. We've got some old strange lady, two guys who are now dead, a missing woman, and swamp sheep. That last one really bothers me a lot. So, we're gonna go investigate. I feel like we should. There's two sheep right over here. The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say ba. Trying to say ba? No, we're leaving at the moment. Wait, you saw that right? It leapt away. Oh boy, okay. I don't want to be in deep water, so instead, we could move to high ground. I know what I need to do. Let's just move a little bit further. That should do it. We could use Searing Smite. No, Thunder is Smite. Knock that sheep prone. Let's go. 20 and 18 damage. It's dead already. Wait, hold on. We got it? Ha ha ha. There's three more to go. If we could kill them all, that would be really nice. Yeah, see where we're at right now? No one's going to bother us. Or maybe I was wrong. No, I wasn't wrong. I remember my very first D&D campaign as a DM. 
I did use red caps and it traumatized my party. They're foul, evil little creatures. The red caps, not my party. So we need to be careful. We need to be mindful. They're clearly red caps. And so now we need to kill one. We need to try to. Here's what we could do. Karlak, you could go into strike. I've got a few options over here. We could sneak behind it. We could use, let's see, one thunderous smite. That could be a lot of fun, I think. I don't want to draw any you know what? Let's do it right now. Let's go. You're kidding me. A miss? Wait. It didn't trigger anything. We're surprised, technically. We'll use a divine smite afterwards. That probably isn't meant to happen, but I'm not too mad about it, I suppose. Oh, come on. Get over here. We'll try again. There it is. I believe we dealt 20 damage. That's pretty funny. We missed. I mean, we had advantage. That goes to show you, <laughs> if there's a chance. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. No kidding. That one red calf still around. We're not surprised. They are. That's what we want right now. So here's what we're going to do. Karlak, you're over here. You've got to go attack. You know that. A good lacerate would be nice. Or over here, searing smite. Do that. Yeah. Burn them down. 25 HP left. That's a lot of damage. Only 7 HP left. So, Gel, you've got a few options on what you're able to do. We could use some manner of chromatic orb. I like the idea. Yeah, use it right over here on these two red caps. They're far away. There it is. They've been hurt a lot. 20 damage on one of them. Nice work. Okay, Shadowheart. You're also still hidden. We need a kill today. Go after that one red cap. I'm willing to use a spell slot. Dead. Okay, I feel a lot better now. We've got two left at the moment. Edrahil, move up. I had no idea any of that would happen, but it did. And I'm happy about it. Gel, you'll stay behind. Karlak, if you want to move, I mean, you should, probably just a little bit. There we go, let's end our turn. All, that matters. Yeah, all of you are done. Can't use your Val. Not from that far. We could use Hunter's Mark. Yeah, let's go after, if I'm able to... Oh, come on, it's hard to actually select them. They're kind of overlapping a little bit. I want to get that other red cap, but if not, no, it's fine. We'll wait. Yeah, all of you just wait for right now. Miss your entire turn. Oh, I love it. All right. We can't quite make it. Not yet. That's okay. Let's move up real quick. Do I have any fun bombs at all? I've got my void bulb to bring them closer. That would be one thing to do. I'm not going to do it. Let's move Shadow Heart up. She's close now. We've got burning hands, but they're too far away, so we can't use it. Instead, what about Radiance of the Dawn? We'll do that to hit, hopefully, the two of them. Let's try it out anyway. We hit at least one of them. Yeah, I had a feeling it would only hit one, but either way, we got one. Okay, now, Gel, you'll move up too. We could use another orb, but what about Cloud of Daggers to hit the two of them? Do that instead. There it is. Whoa, 13 and 8 damage. That's awesome. Now, Karlak, I don't want you right in there, but you've got to jump into combat, I think. Right outside of their range. Yeah, just move over here real quick. Stay on the front lines. That'll do it. You've got a piercing shot. We could go after... Well, there's only one left. Use your piercing shot. 14 damage, a freaking critical hit. Oh, man. What a good day for all of us here. Now, here's a Divine Smite if we really wanted to move in there and try to do something crazy. Do I really want to do that? No. Another ranged attack. That could work out. We'll try it out. A critical miss, unfortunately. We'll end our turn. All right, Shadow Heart is done. And it's dead. We've done it. <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, so... That puts us into a great position. All the red caps here are dead. We've gotten revenge. I'm sure they're the ones who killed those two guys. Bone caps. Nasty, nasty. 
Yeah, I'll have to come back here to loot for a lot of stuff, but they're all very much dead. Do we need to rest? Maybe not yet. I think we should be okay. We should be okay for right now. Okay, we've got a circle close by if we need to leave town and come back. There she is, right over there. She's got to be bad. Now we've got to go say hello to that hag. I don't like it, but it's what we need to do. We've got our divine sword. We've got everything that we need at the moment. We could buff ourselves up in some way. Yeah, Inquisitors might. That would be fun. But forget about it. We're just going in. There she is, right over there. Let's say hello. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Absolutely not. You'll get no apology from me, hag. Ha! I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Lady, you need to wash up. That's Mayrina. I have some bad news for her. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Or things will get messy. The choice is yours. There's really no good decision to be made here. What is it? What's going on? Well, Auntie Ethel killed your brothers. That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough, away would you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Oh, you think so, huh? All right, fine. Let's go for it then. There she is, her true form. Oh, I'm gonna burn her. Looks about right. Oh, her initiative much higher. Vicious mockery, huh? All right. I would like to move up. Karlak, you've got to move up. You need a bit more movement, so jump over here. Probably a good idea if you're able to. If you can't do that, then we're going to have an issue. Pathway interrupted. Shoot. There we go. Okay, I just had to be careful. It was a bit finicky, a bit sensitive. So now that you're here, you know what we're going to do. Oh, you old hag. A reckless attack. No, we're going to use a lacerate first. Oh, hold on. You've got a high defense. Shoot. Okay, fine. Let's go. There we are. 16 damage. A good start so far. We'll end her turn. Do we have another attack? We do not. All right, Shadowheart. You've got to move in too. All of you are a little too far, but we've made our choice. What about a fairy fire? That would be nice. Advantage on her would be incredible. Don't make your save. She made her save. Shoot. All right, fine. It's in her turn again. Where do we go from here? All right, Edrahill. I want you to use your vow. Get close. Use your vow. Nice. Now it's time for our divine smite. Let's go on. Look at that. 22 damage. That's a good day and a good start. We'll end her turn again. Now, Gel, you really have to watch out. You're a bit more delicate, my friend. So we can't use too much on her. We can't hold her. We could use a chromatic orb. Well, hold on now. Acid would be fun, but we don't want to hit anyone close by. So instead, we'll keep it simple. Magic missile again. It's very consistent. You'll see it a lot. It's hard to beat it, I think. We got that one, too. All right. In your turn. Back to her. 
We've done a lot so far. Break illusion. What now? Wait, is she trying to get away? Bye bye, loveless. Oh, come on. She's gone now. Yeah, I hope not. So, we need to look around. Anything here, we're able to take. It's not stealing from a hag. Let's take her time. Here's a potion of greater healing. We're definitely going to need that. We're not going to do a long rest. Not yet. Okay. The letter begins in an elegant cursive, but ends in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Ethel, forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. None. Or not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep. But if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. We've got to watch out for that. We do. Let's take that potion. That antidote. That's nice to have. We'll come back for the rest of her loot. But here's a tea house key. We'll get that too. And of course, any potions close by. We need all of it. Especially before we go down there. Like that one. There it is. We'll come back down. We'll climb down. But here's her home. Another potion of healing. That's a hint to all of us that things are going to be pretty grim. Pretty brutal here. Another crude chest. Yeah, there's so much loot to pick up. Alright, about that fireplace. It's out now. Do I want her tea? No, I don't want her tea. Let's have a look at our inventory. You know what? Carlac, take a few potions. You too, Shadowheart. That should do it for right now. So we're here. We'll take care of the hag. Then move on to Kaga. We've got to keep going now. Ooh, wooden stairs. So now we're going down. And Gel, he's got his arcane hunger. Bad timing, friend. Always bad timing. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Understood. Well, I'll give you one. I've got a few things around here. Not an Everburn blade. Never an Everburn blade. But here... You've got some robes. I'm not going to use them. Take it. Thank you. Are you okay? It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I can't. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But... This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels... right. But it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. It's like me and coffee. Gal, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time. Like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. No, it's fine. It's really not an issue for me. Stop, please, please. Okay, so there's someone down here right now. Oh, look at that sickly glow from the lighting. Bodies all around, too, and stasis. What are we going to find here? Don't look. Don't. Don't look. You are as thick as they sweetness this is my personal playhouse and you don't have an invite get out wait hold on you told me i could be here anyway here's my oath of vengeance i am sworn to end your life hag do not resist god's alive a paladin you lot are drier than shite in the noonday sun I've picked plenty of your brethren from my teeth, Petal. And I look forward to seeing how tasty you are. Ah! 
Is she gone now? Yeah, she's gone now. So, again, let's have a look around. We've got to. Here's a skull and a standing mirror. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. So you do help people out. I see now. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. What a nightmare. So now, we'll continue to look around. Here's Magren. She's in bad shape too. Oh, I don't want to loot her. My darling Magren. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. All right, what else do we have over here? A cauldron at that. Let's look at it. Okay, we can't really do too much with it. And here, a blinded elf. Dead as well. You know what? You don't need that. But here's a watery eye. This poor dear wish never to lay eyes on her family again. You're just a jerk. Okay, we've got someone who's petrified. I'm just here to find out whatever I can. A family portrait. My dearest Efren, he begged me to hold the deadly disease that ravaged him. Okay. One more, I believe. Do we put these on? They look creepy. I don't like that. Very cult-like. So we've got over here an hourglass. And Lauren is alive. My gentle He wished to know what was to come. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. Not again? Come on, open up. You see the gallery. Its walls lined with the hag's victims. Their bodies and minds twisted beyond ruin. Flee, you feel it cry. I'm not afraid of that hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petal. All right. Well, look, is there another way in? Or I could say, the hag will be the least of your problems if you don't open up. That would be Karlak. But let's just say, I mean it. Let me through. The door stays silent. Okay, hold on. Karlak is here. Roar. We'll try that one. A DC of 10. We'll add her bonus. Reason for our advantage, barbarian. Very true. Let's go on then. 15, we made it. We definitely made it. The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. No kidding. Yeah, I was over here trying to talk to Lauren. Mustn't look, mustn't see. Are you all right? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Yeah, I believe it. Calm yourself. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. I see it, see truth, see death, all future. Oh, come on. That's so. And what does my future hold? Always ask, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. Well, that can't be good. You're safe with me, I swear. 
monster! A mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer! Look at me. I'm not a mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Alright. I'm not able to help him out. No intention of letting that happen. Don't. Look. Yeah, we're not gonna let that Don't. happen. Maybe if we kill the hag, he'll be okay. As for right now, I'm not really sure. I was hoping for another map, but I suppose not. Well, we can't save him, so we'll have to move on. Let's move through that door. Alright, what's in here now? Nothing good, I know that. Oh yeah, we've got some guards, I suppose. Moving through wouldn't be difficult. Is it possible? I'm sure it's possible. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't move over there just yet. We'll try to get close if we can to one of them. Yeah, right over here. Ah, that's okay. They see Edra Hill at the moment. Ooh, hamstring shot, a miss. Let it be his turn very, very soon. And thank you very much. Come on. All right, good. Karlak was seen, but that happens. We can't quite hit that other target. We can't hit, let's see, the other Mask of Vengeance. Karlak, could you jump up there and go after... Yeah, you can. Good. Go do that. Boom. Done. All right. You've got your Reckless Attack. Use it right now. Go on. 10 damage. Not quite what I wanted, but it's what we have right now. Gel, could you use Hold Person? I mean, try it out on that Mask of Vengeance. Please let it work out. Oh, you made your save. Okay, not good. Gel, move away for right now. Shadowheart, you've got your turn too. A Flaming Sphere. A Blind. A Blind would be nice. We'll try that one. Anything that we're able to make work somehow. There's Blindness. Good. All right, all right. Very, very good. So, one target might be in trouble. Come back over here real quick. You could use a fairy fire on two of them. We'll do that too. One made their save, understood. Okay, Edrahill, back over to you. Could you jump towards, let's see, the blind target? That would be nice if you could. Not enough movement though. Oh, come on. We are so very close to where we need to be. I mean, we're right there, man. Yeah, see, we don't have the movement. Wait, wait, we do. Haha, -ha, I was bamboozled. But not for too long. Okay. A lacerate attack. You got advantage. 15 and a critical hit. Good work. All right, we'll end your turn. You're done now, too. Thank you, Shadowheart. We know you're done, Karlak. And as for you, my dear friend, Gal, you're done, too. Mask of Regret. I know there's a way to move past them all, but Don't we're just going to have to fight. We're not a very sneaky group. 10 damage on Edrahill. A Curse of Terror on Karlak. She's been frightened. Another 4 damage. Alright, let's go again. I've got my Pommel Strike for fun. Yeah, we'll use it. 4 damage and dazed. Look, I'll take it. Next, a standard attack. 14 damage. That enemy, dead. We'll go after that Mask of Servitude. Man, they are hurting us today. Now, Shadowheart, move closer. I'm going to have you use your Guiding Bolt, level 2. We'll hit the one a bit further out. No, no, no. It's got to be the Mask of Servitude. A critical miss. Well, you know, that was always meant to happen. So what do we do after that? We've got some options like a chromatic orb. We could knock an enemy prone, but I also don't want to hit Edrahill. That would be cruel. That would be mean. We want something that's able to really hit, just hurt someone who's around us. We've got Tasha's hideous laughter too. We could try that. That would be difficult to use on a few targets around us. What about that guy? No, we don't have the movement. You see, his situation is rather precarious. Another magic missile. I mean, you know, it's simple. It works. Our targets are too far. Could we hit the one over here? We can. The Mask of Terror. Let's try it out. There. Not dead, but we did a good job. Let's jump up if we can. 
not quite where we need to be. We can't climb up there. So just move up a little bit. Yeah, we're in that mud. It's causing me a lot of issues. And turn again. We're all done for now. All right. Lacerate, do we need that? No, we don't need that. We'll back up real quick and we'll attack. But it's gotta be a reckless one. Yeah, see, we're frightened, so we have this advantage. We missed anyway. Could shove them off for fun. Let's try it out. We failed that roll too. Okay, good. Shadowheart is doing fine. No curse of regret. What about that servitude one? And you, Mask of Terror, you missed Karnlak. Good. But you did hit her for two damage. All right. Go on Edra Hill, 10 damage. We can't use anything else at the moment. All right, so we'll wait here. Shadowheart, you know what you need to do again. A Guiding Bolt. Please let it hit. 16 damage. Okay, now we'll go after that remaining target. So, we've got Karlak. We've got one enemy over here. We've got to hit today. We've got to do something. A reckless attack again, because we want advantage every single time if we're able to get it. All right, come on down. You've got to move on down. I didn't have her frenzy. I could have, but I chose not to. All right, in turn, we've got Gel. Gel, just move step over here. Step. Well, as far as you're able to. Keep it simple. Magic Missile. We'll have a short rest or a long rest. I'll think about it. We'll end our turn again. There's only one enemy left. Yeah, see, they're trapped. I wish I could help them, but I can't. I really can't right now. Let's jump over. Thank you, Edger Hill. Oh, that's so good. All right, a standard attack. Please kill it. Eight damage. All right, Shadowheart, your turn too. Sacred Flame would be nice. One damage. All right, Karlak. What do you have going on, huh? Could you use your crossbow? You can. Please hit. And it's over. 13 damage, wow. So we killed them. I mean, I really don't want what they have. We'll come back for it later on. We need a short rest, at least a brief little rest here. We do feel better. I don't have all of my slots, but that's fine too. We're now getting closer to another portion of our issues here. Ooh, we need to jump across. So I'll get everyone across real quick. Getting over here is not a problem. But now we've got to get by a lot of noxious fumes. We're not a very perceptive group, nor do we have Asterion. So instead, we're going to use power. Let's leap on over. I mean, we might as well. We've got magic. Charlac, you too. You'll jump right over here just to play it safe. She's very large. Yeah, see, I do love Shadowheart so much, but Karlak and Edrahill, they get on so well. They're both very strong. Now, Shadowheart, jump close by. Please don't trigger a trap. Thank you. Next, you'll jump over here just to play it safe. Gel, you're a wizard. Could you make it? I don't actually know. Hold on. You can. Well, how about that? So next, what we'll do, we'll use Featherfall. That way, there's no fall damage. Then we'll use our turn base mode. Now finally, where are we going to jump? We've got options over here. We've got so many different options. Let's just go right now. And he made it. Then he'll move a bit ahead. Edrahil, it's your turn. Featherfall is so good. We'll jump way over here. And he's clear. We'll move up just a little bit. All right, Shadowheart, your turn. I feel like we're saving a lot of time. I think we are. Yeah, she's jumping. All right. Gel, can you move any? Yeah, you can. Good. You want to. Karlak, she's a bit larger. We need to watch out for her. She might land on top of you. And we'll have her jump right over there. Look at that. <laughs> Your traps mean nothing to me, auntie. Let's have a look at the map real quick. We've gotten so far, but we're still not there yet. I think my favorite part about D&D is that whenever you have issues, you're able to solve them in any number of ways that you're able to come up with. So now let's get a move on. Wait, there's Marina. So she's here. Okay, good. Now hold on. Ready and willing. Gail, let's get a little spell slot back, a level two one. Very good. Now all of you, 
I want you to move together. If not over. We're going to move quietly. We're going to sneak around if we can. We need to get her down somehow. Wait, there's a control orb. Wait, she needed a magical orb to bring down that cage? That's pretty dramatic, but all right. What's over here? Sylvan stone, we'll pick that up. We could even sneak into that room for fun. Just to be a bit rude. You know what? We'll come back. Give it a moment. We're just going to go in here real quick. Oh my god. We have found so much. That staff, to me, seems pretty important. Let's pick it up real quick. A potion of speed, even better. Yeah, we're going to read those letters later on, but that's awesome. Oh, she's going to be so very mad. We could use a new potion whenever. Oh, a bunch of rings. Also mine. Don't worry, lady. We'll get to you. But for right now, we're preparing. We're getting ready. So that staff. Let's see. Ray of Sickness. Topple as well. Not bad. A level one necromancy spell. It's not great, but it's okay, I suppose. Is there any other part here that we know of? No. Not that I can tell. I don't like our current situation, but here's what we're going to do. Andrew Hill, you'll draw her attention, potentially. So, you'll move on your own. I really, really hate my plan. What? All right. Karlak, you'll be on your own. Gel, Shadowheart, you two will move up here. Karlak, we'll try to save her. Yeah, we'll get her to do that. If we could do that, maybe we'll be okay, right? Maybe she'll be okay. So... Hold on, hold on. Keep on moving. That should do it. Yeah. Karlak, we're going to wait for you, then we'll draw her attention. Nope, didn't work out like that. Okay, enter turn base mode right away. Oh, she's moving. That thing is on fire now. She's using clones all over. We're right by one of them. Let's try to go hit one of them if we can. It fell into a trap. That's good. So those two were actually her clones. She missed her first attack. My plan didn't work out, but again, that's D&D, that happens. So, we've got, let's see, one more clone over here. We've got to target it. I mean, we've got to, I think. We'll try to go after the one down over here first. Go on. One damage. Okay, so it's you. Now we know it's you. We could attack again. Radiance of the Dawn, let's go. Try it out. Seven damage. All right, move a little bit closer. Gel, you've got your job too. If we could knock her prone, that would be awesome, I think. We could use grease. I mean, if she falls, that would be so very funny, but then we wouldn't be able to move over there. I do want to save your magic missile. At least your level 2 magic missile. So, we're going to use bone chill. There we go. She's been bone chilled. Get your disadvantage, you fool. Now... Edra Hill, no, never mind. you're a little bit too far, buddy. Now you've joined the battle. That's good. Could you jump over here? Oh, come on. You can jump so very far. You've got it right, pal. Let's just get rid of that clone. There we go. All right. You've got your lacerate. You've got your cleave. Just use a standard attack. A miss, but that's all right, too. I'm trying to get rid of that. Now, Karlak... It's go time. It's your turn. It's frenzy time. Your rage turns into a frenzy. Let's attack. We'll get the girl in just a moment. Edrahill will probably get her. All right. We can't use a bonus action right now. Lacerate. That's our call. Ooh, hold on. We need advantage again. Let's go. 18 damage. I'll take it. I think we're all done for right now, unfortunately. Yeah? We appear to be done. Featherfall, not really for any of us here, I wish, but no, not needed. Edra Hill, you're done too. There she is, Claws and Karlak, 8 damage, she's moving by. Opportunity attack for 17 damage, 64 HP left. Ooh, Gale's fine, the other clone is moving away. Hit for 15, so now it's gone, even better. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll get you out, Marina. Classic D&D, our plans did not work out. A frenzied strike, we'll do that right now. We'll try to hit her. Let's go. 16 damage. Now, a reckless attack again. Let's kill her. 20 
damage. Okay, we could bring her down, or we could try to attack again. Let's use our bow. These two alone could kill pretty much everyone, it feels like. Lacerate. Hit her from behind. 16 damage. She made her save, but who cares, really? Gel, your turn. You know what to do. Magic missile. And you're not even attacking the darkness. Let's go. She's dead. We did it. <laughs> All right. Let's bring her down. She's okay. What's over here? A charm. Wait, is she going to get out? Good, good, good. Let's pick up her loot. We've got slime bombs. Gross. A flammable slime bomb. A tarnished charm. Let's see. Fade life. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Well, hopefully we never need to do that, but the girl is now safe. Oh, that felt good. We didn't even have to hear any type of like evil monologue. Even better. All right, a new recipe. Let's go talk to Marina. Man, that was awesome. I'm so stupid. How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child. Wait, why would you even consider that? That's what she wanted, my baby. And God, I was going to do it for him, my husband. She was going to bring him back. Bring on her back to life. Well, she gives you a monkey's paw. You would probably be a zombie. All right. Your husband must have meant a great deal to you. Connor would have done anything to save me. I had to do the same. I just wanted everything back. Back the way it was. Now Connor's gone, and your brother's too. But we'll be kind. Ethel saw you were vulnerable. She took advantage. It's my own fault for letting her. Look, I don't like owing people. Here, this socket is worth some coin. Oh, come on, no. Keep it. You don't owe me anything. My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. Now we can really take our time to loot here. We've got bitter divorce. Well, that can't be good. Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of its wand. Connor is scratched into the surface. <sighs> I don't like that. Got a letter to Ethel. Let's read it. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail. Okay, well, we'll have to keep that in mind. There's another one out there somewhere. Ooh, a bunch of weird potions. I don't want them. Ooh, potions of speed and healing. What else do we have? Did I get everything else? I believe I did, yeah. I'll come back later to pick up these chests. I'll bring them back to camp. And here we've got some manner of mushroom circle. You know what? I trust it. I can trust the shroom, I think. Back to the putrid bog. All right, how do we get out of here? Ah, there we go. Inspiration for Karlik. Walking on air. All right, well, that's cool. There's Marina, that poor woman. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. I do feel bad for her. Are you alright? Not even a little bit. But I will be. Well... I'm going to stand with her a bit. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. 
That's really tragic. I could leave her to mourn. I know she won't leave him here. I suppose maybe I should tell her. I found a wand. Think I can resurrect your husband. I know what's going to happen, but she needs closure. She might hate Edrihil for it, but she needs closure. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! I'll do my best, okay? I'm kidding, I can't do that. I've got to snap it in two. Because if I do that, he'll come back, but we know what's going to happen. Everything that she does is cursed. I'll snap it in two. What have you done? You bastard! I thought you were going to hell! I thought... I thought... I totally get it, but now she's going to leave. She'll be angry at me forever, but she'll leave now. We also need to go talk to that one fellow, the one who is cursed down below. See, if I didn't do that, I also believe that Quest would stay in our inventory or in our journal log, and I don't want that. We'll take our time here and pick up more loot. There's always more loot to pick up, and I always take my time. I always come back for it. But over here, we've got a potion of animal speaking. Let's go down a little bit more. I bet the toads could have told me a lot about this place. Now we'll go down. Lauren, I believe, is what his name was. Man, hags are tragic, evil characters. I say tragic because they bring so much to everyone else around us. Here's a pouch, too. What's inside? Oh, a pig's head. Great. You know what? I don't want her pig's head. There he is. Lauren. Let's go talk to him. Is the hag gone? Gods! Tell me she's gone. Oh, please. She's dead. You're safe now. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flayer. No, 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 no. Edrahill is a panty slayer, not a mind flayer. So, not if I can help it. Can you still see it? No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's... It's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming. Covered in your own insides as that... That thing bursts out of your skull. You change. Skin ripping from your body and then you butcher... Everyone. Everyone around you. No. I don't believe that. You're wrong. I'll stop it. You can't. I'm so sorry. Look, that's fine. Wait, he's going back in? I thought maybe he would want to leave, but maybe not. Let's get out of here. We need to go find, well, information about Kaga. Thankfully, we were able to teleport, which is quite handy to have. Otherwise, we would be traveling for a very long period of time. So, a short rest would probably be good. Let's take it. We've been doing a lot. After we're done investigating Kanga, then we could do a long rest. Do I really want to go off any beaten path? No way. I mean, come on, we're in a bog, a swamp. We don't want to be in that. Wooden barrel. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. It looks like some ancient druid area. Good to know. Yeah, Kanga... She seeks power. We can't trust a druid who seeks power. Not like that. That feels wrong. Here's a wooden trunk. What's inside, I wonder? Oh, tools. Okay, well, I'll take it. Next. We'll jump again. Do we need to hide? I don't know, probably. Just get everyone over here real quick. Gel, you too. Perfect. All right. Never wanted the easy what do we have over here? A method. Ooh, hold on. It's getting close. It found me. Shoot. Well, that's really, really bad. Shadowheart, if you could do something, that would be great. A fire bolt right away. Go on. You've got advantage. Eight damage. Great. Karlik, if you could, I don't know, jump somewhere close by. 
Get out of the water. We need all of you out of the water right away. Okay. Now, Gel. Attack. Four damage. Not what we needed, but it's what we have at the moment. Let's use our hand crossbow. A decent chance to hit. Let's go. Four damage. Okay. Oh, it blows up. That's good to know. That's really good to know. All right. Inquisitor's Might, a bonus action. Do we really need to hit harder? Doesn't really hurt. Well, it hurts all of them, not us. Let's end our turn again. There's a lot here. Oh, look at that creature. 42 HP. It's charging in. It looks brutal. The mud methods can fly around, obviously. They have wings. What else can they do? Summon more methods? Oh, it's only a young one, so it's weaker. But if they blow up, we don't want them close to us, so hopefully we can push them back easily. They should have a very low strength, I would imagine. Yeah, only eight, so pushing them back won't be too difficult. No. But it's one more thing that we've got to do. One more is moving by. It's dashing. Oh, there's a lot of them all in one group. Okay, you. You've got to go. I can't shove you. That's annoying. I hate that a lot. We've got Shadowheart pretty close by, not where she needs to be. We'll have her move up too. There we go. What about you, Gil? Yeah, just get out of the water for right now. We're all grouped up, and again, I do hate that. So, we'll attack. I think we've got to at the moment. I mean, I could try to move around, but let's go. There it is. Okay, we're all muddy now. Very, very muddy. Karlik will move over to the right. We'll end our turn. We're all done at the moment. Well, here, drink a potion. Now Shadowheart feels better. Gel, you too, drink a potion. Their turn again. See, the action order is not in our favor. They've got the numbers. We just needed one good spell from Gel, but that's okay. Never mind, it's not okay. One tries to punch Gel. It moves away. Alright, Edrahill. You're gonna have to go into melee, I suppose, and hit someone. Maybe we go back okay then you'll jump as you always need to do if we couldn't jump we would be done for i think yeah all right time to attack a lacerate let's try it out a miss unfortunately but he's over there their turn again it's lumbering entangle thankfully carlek is okay but the roots are all around her one flies by Shadowheart and Gel, but misses Shadowheart. It flies away again over to the left. That one wood creature moves away from Edrahill. He misses again going after Carlick. No, actually using more vines, but they made their saves. So we'll have to keep on jumping away. Alright. Another method. Boy. Are we going to have an interesting day. So... Carlic, I need you to strike right now, I think. First off, you've got the frenzy. Get very, very mad, okay? Good. I mean, I want you to just brutalize everyone over here. Lacerate that wooded creature. Oh, if you can't do that, then reckless attack. Advantage. There we go. Not bad. Not what we needed, but I'll take it. Pretty okay. Yeah, stay around him. Don't trigger an opportunity attack. End your turn. Shadowheart, if you could shove that method away. Oh, you failed, unfortunately. I was hoping, I was really, really hoping. We'll use our Radiance ability for her. Try to hit everyone around us. They blow up, sure, we take damage, but at least we hurt them a lot. Keep on moving through the mud. Gel, your turn again. Grease wouldn't stop them. I wish it would, but it wouldn't stop them at all. We could use a few spells... I suppose we could use an orb over to the left. Yeah, we've got lightning. Ugh, mud everywhere. Well, you know what? Go after the ancient one. There's two of them. A critical miss, unfortunately. I was hoping for something good, but it didn't happen. You know what? You don't need to drink a potion, but keep on moving. Get away from that mud. End your turn. Their turn again. One goes after Edrahill, misses two. Let's see, the other ancient flies over by Gel. Punching him for four damage. Edrahill, your turn, of course. 
So, we're gonna use right now a cleave. Let's hit two of them. Two of these methods. Seven damage. Yep, yep. We got him. We got them all. He's actually in pretty decent shape. So, we'll move over to the right by the remaining Ancient Mud method. At least over there. He doesn't need a potion, like I said before. And you'll end your turn. Okay, that last remaining wood creature attacks who? Karlik. For a bit of damage. That other Ancient Mud method lies by Gel again. Missing a punch on him. Then moving away again. Mud Breath on Edrahill, but he's fine. It flies away. So now it's further away. That's fine. I mean, let it. So you know what to do right now, Karlik. He's a frenzied strike. Attack. Okay, that woodland creature, gone. Next, we'll attack again. A lacerate. Goodbye, ancient mud creature. Also dead. Blows up on us. We're taking a lot of damage right now. Let's move back towards... Is that the remaining one? No, there's two left. Hopefully they can't summon more, or that would be annoying. We've got disadvantage. No, you sacred flame then. But it made it save. So we'll keep on trying to move out of the mud. Alright, Gel. Also, disadvantage. Let's back up. We can just move out of the mud. A firebolt would be fun. But again, disadvantage. There's mud everywhere. To help out Edrahill. Six damage. He did it. Alright. Only one left to go. He'll end his turn. All right, Edrahill's moving up. He's doing fine though. I mean, he didn't really take any damage. He's okay. It's flying back a little bit, bringing in a new little young method. All right, Everburn Blade. Let's go after the last one. Reckless attack for advantage. And we did it. Jeez. Those creatures were not easy. Not even a little bit. I'll come back for their loot later, but let's have a look over here. Here's where we need to be. Here's a vase. Is that what we need to look inside of? No, there's bound to be something around here. Let's just keep on looking. Oh, hold on. A little cliff over here. Then I'll keep on looking by that tree. There's a wooden chest, too. There's a lot to look at. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Yeah, I don't really blame you. So, nothing over here that I'm able to see. That's fine. We'll go back down. Oh, here's a little trunk. Okay. What a battle. That actually was a tougher battle than I think the hag battle. <laughs> My mistake. I'm sure there's an easier way to take them all on, but we did our best, right? Hammer and rope. Oh, exciting. That's what we needed. That's what the people are here for. The hammer and the rope. No, we'll just keep on looking by the tree. Those vines are very, very annoying. I was trying to avoid them. And there's got to be like hidden loot around. There's usually hidden loot around. Shouldn't be too game changing. I mean, we've got the big stuff. Come over here real quick. There we go. The sparkle hands. Conductive strikes. On a hit with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains two lightning charges. Effective transmitter. While imbued with lightning charges, attacks or uh, yeah, attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal armor gain advantage. Ooh, unarmed. We don't have that. We're not a monk. But now we've got that too. We'll keep on looking around. I might need a moment to just search and try to find what we need because it's somewhere over here. I know it's somewhere over here. Okay, let's see. We've got investigate. What is she up to? I've looked around everywhere, but let's just burn down some vines that should be possible and we're able to create water too so we'll just put it out right away so we don't have to wait now let's have a look there it is yeah it stands out visually so we'll pick it up now a letter to kanga you just need to have a little read okay kanga Oladin has sent word of your progress. I am pleased that the Rite of Thorns has begun. I depart soon from Cloakwood to Baldur's Gate. Should you need further aid from my circle, now is the time to ask. Once cloistered, the Emerald Grove will be the Shadow Druid's domain, and you its first druid. Oh, she's got a plot. It's not to save people, but to gain more power. Now, we're about due for a long rest, I think. 
yeah, it's about time for us to just rest up. We'll probably go after Halston very soon, too. I could try to talk to her, but that wouldn't end well. Instead, I just need to potentially save Halston. Now, we've not checked every corner and crevice. I don't want to have to come back here too often, so let's climb up. Gandril, who are you? Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Yeah, that's fair. Now, who are you? Today, the same as you. A humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. Though, perhaps I speak too swiftly. You have an odor of your own, or the stench of fey blood. You've already met the hag, then. Yeah, that's true. I have. She didn't survive the encounter. Truly? I won't mourn her passing. Though I hoped she would help me on my hunt. I can wait. You, on the other hand, should already be running. A coven will hear of this. They'll stop plotting to kill one another just long enough to focus all that energy on you. Yeah, that's fair. So, who is it you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it. Or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Alright, pal. I'm in so much danger as it currently stands. I could intimidate him, but let's try to persuade him. Maybe I can help you with your hunt. Why? Because we like killing creatures. We've got friends, we've got guidance, and a scroll too. But I already have an advantage, so I should be okay. Hopefully. 22, there it is. We made it. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? I don't like lying, however... Look, we've met. He's not the type to come quietly, but we're gonna be a bit more blunt. You can give up your hunt. Asterion's under my protection. I see. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced. His kind have charm beyond our mortal means to resist. I can show you who he truly is, if you will just tell me where to find him. No, I know who he is, okay? I'm not going to help you find him. Back off. Astarian has quite the friend in you. I'll make sure he knows that. At the end. See... We could kill him at any point. We're choosing not to. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. Ha, I get it. Bite you later. No, I don't think it will. I was hoping to find out more, but that's what I've got so far. So, I wonder, that could be it. There's bound to be more loot around here, but we'll see before I head back to camp. I was going to go back to camp to rest up. However, we've got to confront Kaga. It's like a very long D&D session where you complete one plot line only to continue another. We've got a few friends who are quite hurt. If there's a battle, they need to be in tip-top form. Shadowheart, here's your greater healing. I've got another one to use on you, gal. Carlike, she's tough. She's going to be okay. Don't worry about her. I'm more worried about our enemies. I mean, if we want to, we could spread around a few potions. Yeah. There you go, Carlike. That should do it. All right. Let's stuff. move. So... We might want to surround her. Hold on. Edrahill, you'll be here. Shadowheart, you'll Let's move back a way. bit, okay? Gel, I want you to really I'm move back. Down. All right? You're not that strong, buddy. You've got your spells, but you need to rest up. So you wait there. Now. Just wait over there. No one will ask any questions. Hey, Garlic, well, you'll use one potion for right now. Then another one. She's already feeling better. Now, you know what we need to do. These two will work together. I might actually respec Karlak. Yeah, I've got a few ideas, but for now, let's focus on what we're doing. Divine Sense, I don't need to use it. Protection from evil and good. No, thank you. Let's just have a conversation. 
Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. I know the truth. You mean to take the grove for the Shadow Druids. What? Oh, I knew. And there we have three rats. I won't give them any cookies or milk. They're pretty dirty too. Oh, especially her. I don't like that. What a dirty grandma. Alright, let's have a conversation now. All of us here. They all look very shocked. That damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Koga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Take this letter wrath and it will explain everything here. What in the cloak word? Koga, have you lost your mind? Halsin is weak, Wrath. But in the shadows, we are strong. We are safe. There is no other way. You and Halsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladin speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladin. Now hold on. You are druids. You've an oath to uphold nature's harmony. Its strength. Stand by it. Let's see if it works out. We've got our bonuses over here. Friends and guidance. Come on. 22. We easily made it. No. You, you twist the teachings. In harmony, we perish. In shadow, we are pure. What? Korgo's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. It didn't take much. She's fearful. Naturally, she was trying to save her people and herself. Now, you know I'm right. Don't let the shadows corrupt you. We'll try again. A DC of 10. 22, again. When? When the darkest hour fell, it was us that brought light. Sylvanas demands we illuminate shadow, not hide within it. How was I so blind? Careful, Korga. The shadows don't forgive. I belong to the shadows no longer. You've no power over me. Or you would question my power. Mother Earth, hear me. Grant me your wrath. Okay, but could she grant you a bit of bath water too? You need it. There goes Kaga. Olden moved away using a strike on Shadowheart, but thankfully it didn't land. Now? Oh, she's very dangerous now. Thank you, Fendel. Get out of harm's way. Don't die. We've got another attack. Go on, Kaga. Man. She really hurt them. Let's see. Penta casts a spell on Loic, but their turn was really, really poor. We also have Gel way over here just waiting. He's like, are the bad people gone now? No, buddy. They're not. Why don't you go after, if you can, Penta. Try it out. You'll be seen, but try it out. Yeah, there we go. Nine damage. No, you did your part. I'm very proud of you, by the way. Back over to Karlik. So, we've got a few options here. No, we have only one. She's very angry. And that's her secret, too. She's always angry. So now, we're going to have her strike out. We'll have her use a reckless attack over here on Pinta. Let's do that. Look at that damage. It's okay. It could be better, but it's okay. Now, Shadowheart. Firebolt is one option. Secret Flame. Do that instead. Oh, but they made their save, unfortunately. Okay, we'll move you over here to break that line of sight. That should do it. Hold down Control to change up where you're looking. Not that it really matters. And we'll end our turn. Back over to Ren. He's now a bear. Terrifying. 
But Kago is able to dodge another attack. As for you, my friend, I should probably have you get out of harm's way. So just move a little bit. I didn't really do that. Back over to Edrahill. Yeah, let's take out Pinta, I think. I really want her dead. Here's a pommel strike. Three damage, not bad. Then a standard strike. Let's try it out. She's gone now. Let's go after the bear. One enemy dead. Okay, back over to Rap. He's moving up with his club. Missing one attack. We've got Loic dashing ahead right now. Getting closer. Doing nothing. And Fendol, he's patching himself up. What about Oladin? The badger over here. Missing Edriel, very good. Man, look at Kaga go. She's doing so well. Good, good, good. Here's a frenzied strike, a bonus action. We'll go after Oladin. <laughs> look at that. She's out of her shape. So after that, what else do we get to do? A reckless attack, you say? I agree. Nine damage. She's not dead, but it's close to it. All right, Shadowheart. Move over here. You've got your Fire Bolt, your Sacred Flame. Try your flame. Eight damage. She did it. Oladin is dead now. There's only one. Go on, Ren. You did hit Kaga for a lot of damage. Sure. Okay. Ray of Frost on that bear. Gil got it. Two damage. Edra Hill. Back to you. All right. Out of your bear shape. But are we done? Yeah, we're done for now. Aren't you lucky? Could I shove you away? Well, not where I want you to go. Eh, we'll leave him there. He might fall off, but I want his items, okay? I do. We'll end our turn. Pulled person. Oh, good job, Wrath. Loic, again, dashing up. Shoving Ren. Oh, now we're just bullying Ren. <laughs> we're all just gripping up. Let's just shove him forever. There's Kaga. Oh, Silver's way, way over there. Really far from the action, but that's okay. All right, back over to Karlak. So, reckless attack. Let's go for it. Go on, Karlak. It's over. We won. We did it, everyone. Well, that feels good. Halston is going to love us a lot. Let's have a conversation with Kaga. Wrath thought me a danger. Seems I've proven him right. Well, hold on. Power's lore is strong. I know it well. But I've got a few other options too. Protecting the circle is natural, but you chose the wrong path. I betrayed Sylvanus himself. Led the circle to shadow. We will stop the right, and I will stand trial. My fate lies with the Tree Father. May he have mercy. Okay. And what of Zevlor's people? We will grant them safe harbor until they depart. Meanwhile, help us contend with the goblins. Perhaps we can dissuade them from attacking. Yeah, maybe so. So, how did the Shadow Druids even find you? It began with a letter. There was no messenger. It simply appeared. Oladin came soon after. An army was coming, she said. Goblins, drow, and more still. Legions upon legions. The druids of Cloakwood knew the dangers this would bring. They ordained that all circles cast the right to shelter from the storm. Oladin taught me to harness the Tree Father's power to wall us in. In return... Well, you know the rest. I would turn the grove over to them. I won't forget the wounds I've inflicted. I pray Halsin returns to heal them in full. I do feel for her, but now it's time to go. Let's talk to Wrath, but also pick up a bit of loot too. Okay, you don't have much. What about Oladin? I mean, we murdered her. Again, nothing. What a disappointment. All right, everyone get together. Oh, Wrath, he's angry. It's an argument you seek. You won't find it here, whatever the Tree Father's judgment. I will accept it in full. She's pretty broken right now, so forget about it. We could tell Zevlor. I mean, he's going to be happy to hear that his people can stay for right now. 
Let's go visit him. Die, Before we talk to Zevlor, let's talk to Damon over here. Thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized Demano valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help them, but I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Yeah, I had a feeling whenever I picked it up, she made a comment about it. Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Yeah, we'll do our best. I mean, oh, he sounds incredible. Fish. He is incredible. Let's talk to Karn like real quick. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Well, that's a bit terrifying, really. Let's find some evil for you to smack then. Bring it on. Well, good for her. I wonder if she does gain any tangible benefits. That would be interesting. Very cool, in fact. All right, let's go talk to Zevlor now. Now there's Zevlor, one happy tiefling. Well, relatively. I'm told the druids have stopped their damn chanting. What happened? Kanga's agreed to stop the ritual. Truly, Ilmata's ashes. I never thought she would actually see reason. Thank you. We still have the goblins to contend with, but you've given us time to prepare. I'll ensure my people make the most of it. 
It pains me that I have nothing to give you in thanks. If you can clear the road of goblins as you say, I'll ensure a reward is gathered for you. I don't really need it, so Pardon? don't worry when about it, okay? Gate, where are we enlisting? Enlisting? I'm done soldiering, Tilly. I'd like a clean start. I don't blame him. Go with the watch. You're too honest to be a mercenary. That's very true. All right. Now, if I think about it, we might finally be ready to go back to camp. We are finally back at camp, and we do need to go to bed. However, it's finally time to get to know a few more of our companion members. But before we do that, Scratch needs to be spoken to. Well, maybe not if he's way over there. I'll wait then. We'll go talk to Karlak first, then Shadowheart, maybe Asterion, or even Lazel. And of course, Scratch, who's a very good boy. Soldier. Hi there. So I want to talk about your infernal engine. Old Rusty? Sure. Now hold on, I hope it's not Rusty. So, how did you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year? Ten air. The place? Sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero? Karlak. A knock knee delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. I believe you. So, if your mentor, your leader, whoever he was, was able to consort with an archdevil, he would have had to have been someone of great power. Now, you mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zeriel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. You know what? I think you're doing fine. Now, that fight at the toll house really heated you up, didn't it? What about it? I had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. Yeah, maybe so. Now, how could you withstand the heat? engine heats up the whole system enough not to get burned. Hopefully it will hold together long enough to get tuned up. Let's move, eh? Huh? I'm running high and in the mood for a fight. Well, hold on. We're about to go to bed, so no, no, no. You're not done. Let's keep chatting. Hey, soldier. Howdy. Now, in your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Well, you covered every base, I think. Now, you and Mazora seem to know each other. How? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Yeah, maybe so. I do think about that if we had a world where you could sell your soul and gain incredible power. 
it would change your station quite a bit. Now, I could see why you were so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Yeah, again, I don't blame you. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. Alright, we'll change the topic right now. What else do we have over here? So, what do you know about the city of El Terrell falling into Avernus? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. And look, you were only one soldier. Now, I could leave her here. I'm not going to. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? What about me? Well, I would be in the middle of another adventure. Blessedly free of any tadpole. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Yeah, maybe so. Now we'll go talk to Shadowheart. Maybe Asterian after. Wait, hold on, there's Scratch. There we go. All right. I know what you want. Gotta be petted. Shadowheart, Karlak, they both approve. Of course they do. Who wouldn't? That's why you're here. One of the top options in the game. Alright, let's leave. There's Shadowheart. She's very coy, and I like her a lot. So let's try to get to know her a little bit more. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. No, that's really understandable. So, there's something you're not telling me, I'm sure of it. I don't know what you mean. No, I think you know exactly what I mean. It's nothing, really. We've got to press. We have to be honest with each other. What is it you're keeping from me? So I've got my DC of 18, I don't like that. We'll use friends for advantage. Let's try it out. A 21, we did it. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. <laughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. No, I totally get it. Now, you could have told me, how long were you going to keep this secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed, so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. Absolutely here. Let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. Alright. As I said, Shah is my patron, my mistress. Goddess of darkness and loss. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Sure, please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Beyond loss. 
In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. You're naked? Me too? Okay, sure. Now, how exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. That is a very hard life to lead. Now, I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Keep in mind, we follow a pathway that isn't traditional for a paladin anyway. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. Okay, we'll talk about a few other topics, too. Like over here. Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Okay, then. Now... Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Okay. I mean, it's easier to handle, to endure suffering, if you have a reason to believe in. Now, is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Yeah, there it is. I really do like that one line she just said, too, about being a little bit more patient with her. That's really good writing. I like it a lot. Now, let's turn to other matters. So, what's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. It's in my pocket, but all right. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? That's true, sure. But tell me something about yourself. Besides Char, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Actually, yeah. No, that's great. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass some. It's a deal. All right. Turn to other matters. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Yeah, maybe a little bit. So, how am I holding up in your estimations? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. I do like that. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Well, hold on now. No reason for us to not stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Andrew Hill won't pry about that. Seems personal. I won't pry. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. 
Yeah, we haven't had a lot of light conversation, but let's move on. Let's go for now. So, what we'll do, we'll go talk to Lazelle. We've gotten so much done as it currently stands, but we'll go talk to her because she's going to join us. Later, we'll talk to Asterian, but not yet, but soon, sure. Speak. Oh, she's very kind. Are you sure a crash is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Ah. Uh -huh. Lazelle is a great soldier. She doesn't question her lady, her queen. But how does a queen view her soldier? I have ideas. Anyway, that kind of wisdom is very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. That is a lot. Now, do you know much about Mind Flayers? I feel like him saying, you look so unusual. No, that's weird. So, do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Okay, okay. I got it, alright? So, do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Wow. Okay, she's a great storyteller. You should be a DM. That sounds awful. How are you so calm would be option number one. But here. That's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Hey, that's all right. You're worried we haven't changed. That's good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Yeah, sure. I'm more of a glass half full type of half elf. I mean, look, we had a good surprise. It didn't happen. Let's leave for right now. Now it's time to finally go to bed. We need our rest. I could talk to other people, but we've had a lot of conversation already. There's our food, our alcohol. We're doing fine. We haven't run out yet. I'm in my state of meditation, resting up right now. All the ladies are here. And now it's probably time for us to go. We've done so much as it currently stands. Back to the blinded village. We'll probably look for that crush in just a moment, but Shadowheart would like to chat. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Well, now I'm intrigued. Do continue. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. 
There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. That's a lot. I now know so much more. Thank you for sharing. Okay. We could just move on now. Which we probably should. I mean, we could go on and ask questions, but let's be thankful. I mean, she volunteered a lot. So our goal now is to probably move up over here to the Risen Road, go back to where the Knolls were, then to move west. Maybe we'll find a few Githyanki. We're getting close now. And yeah, we're right over here. We just need to head on over to the west. I could make a few detours, but I'm choosing not to. I could always come back. Now, Lizelle, she's very dedicated. She's foolhardy even. So I know what's coming up won't be good for us. However, we're here to keep our word. Let's investigate. And maybe if there's some evil afoot, we could stop it. Even if it's Githyanki. So here's a mountain pass right now. Wait. A dragon rider. A dragon rider. A near. Damn thing could blot out the sun. Oh, I don't like that. The shadow alone is quite it would intimidating. Be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know. Let's go that talk to that lady over here. Yeah, she's not happy. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham. Oh, hold on now. What's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. Oh, that's that interesting. Swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Yeah, I doubt that too. So who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Sure. Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Okay, have fun. Bye. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Oh boy. A dragon. That should be good, Drop right? Your weapons. I'll yep. feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your, your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn. Stop wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Hey, you know what? They probably won't care about us, I believe. The dragon incinerated their soldiers. Surely this isn't safe. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Yeah, maybe. I don't know about that. Oh god, she's going off on her own. I really don't like that. Look, we're not too far. Joaquin's rests over to the east. We could have a nice little vacation. 
No, I suppose not. We could take her time, we could scout around, but we've got to help out Lazelle. She's a bit single-minded, a bit naive, Moving so she might need our aid. Oh boy, Karlak. You are wearing their armor, we'll see how that plays out. Oh good, a dragon. How fun for us. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Oh, I don't like him. Nod to Lazel. Go ahead. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Vos seeks is the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Yeah, maybe. Now, keep in mind, I've got that artifact on me. Mal, the silent command to Lazelle. Play along. Alright, add bonuses over here. Friends and Guidance. A DC of only 10. We've got a 20. And that 20, I like that. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! We're learning so much. Strange. And I don't like that. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Okay, for now, it is done. Damn we... it all! You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Yeah, hopefully so, but again, I don't believe it's going to go the way that she wants it to. Oh, that poor mercenary got over here, Yule, who died. Oh, right, I remember that. You know what? I'll take your cheese. You don't need that cheese, but I do. More dead mercenaries over here and a broken bridge. I'll take it all. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm encumbered. I might need to go sell a few things here or give it over to Karlik. So, we need to move on a little bit further. For Lazelle, of course. By the time we're all done here, those goblins are going to be in trouble. We're going to have incredible equipment. They're just going to be there using sticks and little tiny swords. Alright, let's go over to the Githyanki. A mountain pass. Interesting. We could try to leave, I suppose. Or not. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, 
an armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing. Yeah, no kidding. That voice, those visions, what just happened? No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. Okay, we're not going that way right now then. Forget about it. We'll try that later on. We do have a lot more to do over here, so leaving the entire area is probably a bad idea to begin with. What a scary moment though. So we're going over to Joaquin's Rest. There's a fire inside of that building, that area. Yeah, no kidding. And we'll take care of that once we're back. Thank you for watching, everyone. Leave a like and do comment right down below. And let me know what you think we should be doing next and what companions we should have as well. Alright, until then.